<laughs> oh my god. Alright, people, welcome back to DM. You don't commentary. need it. Alright, we got stopped here, but. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Yo, oh that god. trick is gonna fuck you up, the LS. Get wrecked. Oh my god. I hope Shadow Switch. <laughs> All right, so of course this is a this is a new format, you know. So everybody's rating on BN got reset. So as soon as I got on, I typed in a thousand. No one was on as a thousand. Like what the fuck? But yeah. Anyway, we got a Quasar here at only uh, three hundred and seventy-six, but you know, it's donor. So we might be able to see something here. Versus yeah. Stratos, who is not playing heroes. Yeah, I Stratos, <laughs> not playing heroes. Clearly playing I think Burning he, Abyss. I think he's given up because he wasn't released off the ban list. He's like, right, fuck the heroes. I'm joining Burning Abyss. <laughs> then, then bitch, he's got me banned. But at least Konami will love me again if I'm with the Burning Abyss. He's, he's another donor with that uh, that's one job though. <laughs> I wonder if he drew that himself. <laughs> I don't know. And then Patrick's though. <laughs> I know. Like I said, Patrick is going to fuck BLS up. Get wrecked. Uh, he is bitch. really overextending for a first turn. I hope yeah. he has a fire lake in his hand. He's already milled two, hasn't he? Yeah, he milled one, and I think he milled the vanities. Oh my god, you're not going to go for a third Dante. Dude, if you go for a third <laughs> fucking Dante. A third fucking... No, come no, on. No, come on. No, don't... No. No. Why? 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 <laughs> I heard you he like Dante, can. like, why, dude? Because he fucking can, that's why. So oh, the uh, there's his second Vanity's gone, so you've got one Vanity's in that. What the fuck? That wasn't even worth it. That was dumb. <laughs> Please tell me you have a Fire Lake. Because if Bro, you don't, what the questions. fuck? God, what the fuck um, was that? I don't know. I've never so seen you, that before. Well, like, you got you got to love Stratos' picture. Bloody SpongeBob Chad's Princeton. <laughs> I've never seen that before. And no background. No nothing. And burning oh, a bear. But you can't handle my three Dantes. Regeki, oh. see? I knew it. I fucking knew it. I oh, my God. Dante's gone. See you later. Well, at least you get your effects of your detaches. You get a scarm during the end phase. You get... I mean, you're still okay, but Why? That was just dumb, like, for it, real. It was re really, really stupid. Get Sir back. Get a Fire Lake back. Get a Graph back. Get a Fire Lake back. Get a Fire Lake. You've milled one. Get it back. Get it back. Get Good. a Fire Lake back. And, Good. and, uh, and, uh, didn't you, de wasn't Sir detached? Yeah, so you get one from the deck. Overall, that play was very anti -kind of, You Look at that. He, look. I know. And now what are you going to go into? You haven't got any fucking Dantes to make. Seriously. Seriously. No fucking Dantes. Can Dante why, return why, Dante back to the extra deck? Yeah, Dante can spin Dante to the extra deck. And why didn't back. he do that? Because he's a fucking idiot. Well, he made free Dante first turn. What do you think? Do you really think this is a very good Burning Abyss player we're seeing here? And we don't even know what Quasar's playing, he just upstarted and threw a Regeki at him. I guess he's gonna use Sir to revive Dante, I guess? Oh, uh, Cleep up this Burning Abyss. Better. Good, good. Whoop his ass, Cleep played, because this guy, I, I, was, I was rooting for him with the Spongebob, but now, no, know, no. he needs to be punished. He needs to learn how to use Burning Abyss right. Why the fuck would you go for three first turn Dantes? <laughs> and, Mil and three! Why? And so why, nothing. when three died, would you not use one of them to put another one back into the fucking extra deck? So you've uh, got Dante's for later in the duel, maybe? Yeah. No, I guess not. No. So no Firelight Loop's gonna happen. And I think without Firelight Loop, he might get uh, out-resourced. That was just... Well, not out-resourced, but he might, you know... Uh, that was just dumb. I, I don't know. <sighs> I guess he thought that three Dante's would just be the best it's play. too strong. I can go for three Dante's! You could have made one of those into a Zen mains or something. <laughs> yeah. You could have done something. You know? What do you search for with, uh, to what didn't pay attention? I don't know. I think yeah. he said. I was looking at my cards for like a split second. <laughs> and when I was looking at this Tiramisu, I've got it for a split second. <laughs> <sighs> not, it. not the card either. Not the card. <sighs> I guess the only one who knows the viewers in the recording. <laughs> Yes. 
I'm gonna get yelled at. Daniel, pay attention. <laughs> oh, he's using laser. Yeah. You take one, well, you typically, so that when they summon their killer. They don't really, they don't really play killer anymore, although I would, because it's good against Burning Abyss. It's not good against the mirror match, though. No. I'd keep it in the side, personally. I think they still side it. Yeah. Is it pretty good against Kleepots? Because I don't... Not Kleepots, against, um... Shadows, I mean. Because, I mean, what the fuck do they do to Killer? They can't construct over it. Yeah, I guess it would be pretty good. Yeah, it would be good. Mm -hmm. The Shadows are the weakest out of all three of the decks. Yeah, they are. I love it when the uh, Shadows first came out, everyone was losing their mind over them, like, Shadows, they're the best deck ever! Oh my god, they're gonna be amazing, they're gonna be like the top tierist, metarist thing ever to hit Yu-Gi-Oh! And then Kleeputs came out, and then everyone was the same for Kleeputs, and then Burning Abyss came out, and now everyone's the same for well, Burning Abyss <laughs> cut us all off guard. Yeah. yeah. I don't think anybody left that that Burning Abyss were gonna be this fucking good. Yeah. Yeah, because Shadows, they have one major, 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 major problem. You can't get over anything higher than 28 um, if it isn't special summoned. No, that's not even a problem. <laughs> All right, <it's... laughs> yeah, that's not that's not even what the problem is with them. Alright, what is it? The... They have consistency issues. Mm. No, if they don't open up with any fusion cards, what are they doing? Yeah. Although they do now have their Shadow Fusion. And, yeah, you, don't uh, think I, you don't think I did that? Yeah. I had Triple Fusion, Triple uh, El Shadow Fusion, and Triple Neff Fusion. I would usually get like one, and Neff is so... Ah, uh, Neff. <laughs> it's definitely not as good as the other two. Yeah, I know it is. Yeah. If I'm going to fuse with anything, any uh, other card, I'd I prefer... Um, well, obviously Shadow Fusion, but I mean... If I'm going to use a card that changes the tributes to make the other fusions, I'd rather just use Shadow Core. Oh, yes, beginning of the end. Because you know what the biggest problem with Nuff Shadow Fusion is? What? MST negates. Yep. You know, it, it, it starts way too many chains. You know? You gotta, like, you gotta use your normal summon. So that's why I ended up taking out Hidden Armory, because, you know, you can't normal summon a set, but then how am I going to equip, unless I have a, a Shadow Munch on the field, how the fuck am I going to equip? To a Shadow to even fuse with, you know, I have to wait a damn turn, so I decided to take that out. You have to use your normal summon, equip to that monster, call the attribute, which for some reason on Debra, I guess you can't call Dark, because I guess it's already Dark, which is weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then your opponent can respond to that. Then you gotta activate to fuse, and then your opponent can respond to that. Like a ton of just responding. It's mm. really weird. As soon as I saw that card, I was like, eh, not that good. Yeah. Will they run it? Oh, most definitely. They have to, you know? Like... Because if they don't get their fusions, they fucking lose. Yeah, that deck is too aggressive. That deck is aggressive, 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 aggressive. You know? Shit, they don't even run any back row anymore. It's literally just aggressive. You gotta go for it. You gotta push. You gotta summon Dark on. You yeah. gotta summon BLS. You gotta OTK. You gotta put that damage in real quick. Because your opponent can easily bounce back and come back with it. You know? Yep. So... It all have literally turned into just a very aggressive deck. Yeah, which is weird because when we first when we first saw him, it was like slower with bat row and set him and then flip him one time okay, stuff like that. Okay, you got a phoenix. You ready? Okay. Wait. You want Pleiades bounce him? Make him pay an extra 800 since Scout has to be on the field to resolve. You know what's so stupid? What? That Burning Abyss guy. Fucking the SpongeBob. He was being retarded. Dante, it's... Dante, Dante. He's being, go. he's being retarded. And yet he's still up on resources because Burning Abyss yeah. is still a top deck. You know? Yeah. No. You know, they have consistency issues. Like I said, they don't if they don't fuse, they don't shit all don't do shit. So you gotta run triple of everything. You have to. 
you know, you know what's you know what's fucking you know what's absolutely fucking hilarious is that um I made a monarch deck focusing on Megazaborg to rip the extra deck. <laughs> I played against your dolls, I rip and I got a high level uh, tribute. And it was light, so I got to choose the ones to rip from their opponent's extra deck. I just ripped all their fucking fusions, and they scooped. Because <laughs> they can't do shit. They cannot do shit, you know? I ripped every- I ripped, literally ripped all his fucking constructs, all his windows, and his Gristal and Shikinaga. And he fucking immediately, as soon as those fuckers hit the graveyard, he scooped. <laughs> I was just laughing my head off at that. It was fucking great. Absolutely great. What the fuck? Really? I don't know. Be right back. <laughs> yes. Um. I guess we'll pause until they come back. Yep. So. Yeah. So. And you know why I lost to that fucking shit? Because I only had one Nefshadol doll for using. And then as soon as I equipped and tried to use it, he played Vanities. Then he just ran over my monster. That it was equipped to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. And then I never drew another fusion for the rest of the duel. <laughs> awesome. Not, not a regular fusion, not an ancient fusion, nothing. And he just <laughs> whooped my ass, so. Yeah. Cool. Oh, well. Why? Mm, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I guess he's gonna to? tribute him for a disc slash shell or whatever it's called. I don't know. Nope, only one for you. Okay. Uh, a bit of a waste of a Polides bounce. Well, I guess I'd have bounced the fucking thing that tributed, but whatever. The problem with uh, bouncing the thing that tributed is that carrier is that would still it go off. The yeah, it was, and carrier would still go off and still destroy uh, the Pleiades. So. Or bounce it, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bounce it back to the extra deck. So the, the only problem is that right now the the Burning Abyss guys are doing so hot with the Pleiades because he can't summon any more Burning Abyss monsters. I mean, unless he has tour guide, and then he's. Does he have any? Well, he's he's got Dante's effect to go off in the graveyard, so maybe he'll be smart and he'll put another put a Dante from his grave into his extra deck. Maybe he'll be smart and do that. No, he has not. <laughs> Again? Oh, I, I know. Come on. <sighs> you know, his Pleiades doesn't have any attachments, so that's not really a threat. No. Doesn't that still get its effect? Is that? Yeah, it still gets the effect because it was tributed, but yep. set? What the fuck do you even I guess and, he set the tool. And I guess he doesn't want the carrier, and I guess he set the tool. What? You know what, they're both bad. Uh, okay. Yeah, they are. They're both, they're both not. Well, this is DN, to be fair. What did you expect? People Scum. say DN is the fucking pro shit. I know. It, it is. It's where all the pros hang out, dude. Because you can't be too good. Oh, Regeki. What was the point of that? Not a clue. What was the I point mean, of anything so, in this duel? I don't know. Why would you? Why would you regeki? Because it's only like I said. It goes back to the fucking extra decks, the pendulum and shit. Okay. So bad. This duel made me lose brain cells. <laughs> brain cells of mine have committed suicide. <laughs> They're like. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. So hopefully they can do some better plays. Cause yeah. God, that was just. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh well, which one are you going for, assembler or scout now? I'm not sure if he plays assembler. He should. I don't think he can. I think you do. Why is it not on there? Yeah, it's TCG only. I usually play Klee, but always lose against Burning Abyss. Yeah, because they are just too fucking ridiculous. Uh-huh. Because <laughs> Burning Abyss is a stronger deck. That's why you lose in I actually, I actually beat Klee, but with uh, Black Wings. It was hilarious. And when I say beat him, I mean completely crushed him. I Icarus attack him. 
three fucking times, and he attacked me with about three or four pendulum monsters, and I just black sonicked him. <laughs> <laughs> they all got banished, and then he rage quit. Right. This is him in, uh, Rick. Normal summon, uh, the sir? <laughs> yeah. I get sir and graph confused. Yeah, me too. They look the same. That's racist. Yeah. <laughs> Within the same way. <laughs> yeah. Racist. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Okay. Yep, there's children. Oh, well. Okay, but you can't. Yeah, you can. You can mill. Well, you can detach for cast, can't you? I think he, 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 he can mill. He just don't get the attack in. The mill is the cost. Oh. So he'll still just be at a thousand attack. Not well. Alright, so that carrier is at 2700? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well... <laughs> Well, what? Oh, damn. Ah. Uh, oh, snatch still. This number generator. It begins. Yeah. It be have you been snatch stolen yet on Dian? No, not yet. We've been in Not yet. Oh. Can't, I can't. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a dick, but I can't wait till it happens. You'll be losing your shit over it. <laughs> I was to say, is this fool really gonna win because the snatch steal? <laughs> Yes, it's too good. But Snatch Steel's balance, you know, we got MSTs. Yeah. We got MST and we got Twister as well. I know, man. Like, I don't know how you're playing Batro at this point. And Night Beam for the face down ones. I don't know how you play Batro at this point. You know, I mean, I, I mean Snatch Steel is totally banned because we have so many things I can just go ahead and pop face up cards. You know, just pass, yeah. and pop face up cards in response. I mean, you know? we, you we, can, you can, we you have... can do Sanctum and then some of them are all. Yeah, well, you can if you get that lucky. <laughs> Actually, I think I think the um, artifact engine may still survive, because I think what they're gonna do is rather than just um, I run scythe. In, yeah, that's what I mean. They're gonna start it's using okay, scythe. But, but, mm, it's, it's not worth the trouble. I think it is. You can just stun your opponent. And be like, oh. Summon tour guide. Okay, uh, some artifact Santum, summon scythe. No Dante for you. Go away. What deck will be playing that? What do you mean? What deck could be playing what? What deck the... would be playing this artifact engine still? I don't know. Whatever wants to, uh, one up your opponent with bullshit out of the back row. Pretty much. Mm, it's a, it's a splash, no splash deck in can... lots of decks. Not really. Not competitive wise. No. The only deck that splashed artifacts was your dolls, and they don't got time for that anymore. So you know, know, it was cute like when they had the, the artifact in an artifact for dolls because it was a really good matchup against Cleese because Moral Attack would pop, but now since Moral Attack is hit, it's not worth it. Mm. It's okay against your dolls. Oh no, no, it's not because they would, they would kind of miss. Unless it's Neth, which would what my opponent actually played on me, so you know, because if I went, you know, El Shaddai Fusion or Shadow Fusion, you went Chain Sanctum and tried to summon, you would miss. Mm. So, mm, I'm just not seeing it. What that? Didn't that guy beat me? Yeah, he beat me because he was using uh, Artifact Constellers and he top decked into a Sombre. Damn. Dead. Why is that Skarm still on the field? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess you forgot about... And this is why Burning Abyss really shouldn't be playing a Snatch Steel, but whatever. Yep. Why is that still on uh, the field? They're both dead. Yeah. They're both dead. Like, come on. They both just something and then like, right, peace out, y'all, later. Whee! God, you two are so bad. You telling them in watch? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think they'll watch or read or whatever. No, I'm, I'm private chatting him. All right. Which one, Shredos or Quasar? 
stop, 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 stop. This trucking game is so an irreparable game. Stay, stop, stop. You wouldn't, you don't even have to clean monsters on the field. Skill drain? Really, it works like that? I can't. I thought that was a condition that couldn't be negated. Oh, okay, whatever. I thought it was a condition that couldn't be negated. Okay. I did not know skill drain work like that. I thought it was just a condition. Oh. So what did you destroy fire with? <laughs> he destroyed the uh, Rubik and the Sir or Graph or whatever when he got back. And then his own train trapped them. Yeah. Why he didn't kill the Dante to get the firelight back? Fuck knows. Whatever. I thought it was a condition. Hmm. <laughs> okay, whatever. Damn, he got the snatch steel on the Regeki. Of course. Mm -hmm. This is. Did you forget what this was? I don't know. I don't know. You had the BLS <clears throat> in the Regeki last duel. Like I said, did you forget what this is? Uh, is this the end by any chance? Oh, that's game. Number Generator City. I should look that up. <laughs> Cause they do it. Do they even activate? No, it's always continuous. Right. What do you mean, like that effect where if you uh, su if you summon one without controlling all burning abyss monsters, they kill themselves? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's just that's just something that happens. You just play it and it just happens. It doesn't activate that effect. Huh. All right. I'll look it up. All right. Let's see this. Are you for skill drain? All right. Uh, I'm going to activate, especially summon a burning abyss monster, and then I'm gonna summon mathematician. Yeah. Oh, oh. Mm, interesting. Interesting. All right. At least now we know. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode of the Under Commentary ending here on Dev Pro just to test something. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoyed. It was all bad though, and I just yeah, couldn't well, trust them. Yeah, you know, the way no. they were playing. Mm -mm. All right. So, uh, thank you, Stanzi, for joining me. No problem. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and we will see you guys tomorrow with some more DM Do commentary. Alright guys, thanks for watching.